In 2012, scientists tested a tiny, 90,000-year-old bone fragment from a Siberian cave. The DNA results were considered a lab error, a statistical impossibility. The bone belonged to a 13-year-old girl, Denny, who was a first-generation hybrid. Her mother was a Neanderthal. Her father belonged to a completely new, ghost lineage of humanity, the Denisovans. This single discovery proved that our ancient world was not one of competing species, but an interwoven family. But this hybrid child is not even the most shocking secret hidden in Denisova cave. The artifacts they found, items that should not exist, force us to question who the real primitive humans were. The cave was not just their home, it was a crossroads of humanity. The only known place on earth where three different human species lived. Denisovans, Neanderthals, and our own ancestors, Homo sapiens. We know they didn't just live near each other, they interbred. This picture of a complex, interwoven family was fascinating. But the real shock came from what we found in the layers of dirt they left behind. Artifacts dated between 50,000 and 70,000 years ago. These items included a seven centimeter bone needle, so perfectly crafted it could be used today. They found a diadem, or tiara, made of mammoth ivory. To make it, the ivory had to be soaked in water, bent into shape, polished, and drilled. And the centerpiece, a stunning polished bracelet made of a dark green chlorite stone, a material that had to be brought from miles away. That bracelet shouldn't exist. It's dated to at least 50,000 years old, perhaps as old as 70,000. Microscopic analysis of the hole drilled in it shows it was made using a stable, high-speed drill. It was also ground, sanded, and polished using techniques not characteristic of the Paleolithic. This is advanced Neolithic technology from an era tens of thousands of years later. So who made it? This artifact is so advanced, it has become the focus of intense speculation. The cave's eDNA, the ancient DNA extracted from the dirt itself, gives a chilling answer. In the layers where the bracelet and needle were found 70,000 to 50,000 years ago, there is zero trace of Homo sapiens. Various theories claim this is proof of an advanced lost race, Atlanteans, and that scientists are hiding the truth. However, their logic is flawed. They assume Denisovans must have been primitive. Therefore, they conclude someone else made it. The real science is far more shocking. We were wrong. The Denisovans made them. They had symbolic thought, aesthetics, and technology that we arrogantly assumed belonged only to us. For decades, this ghost lineage had no face. But in 2025, a new analysis of the famous Dragon Man, or Homo Longi skull from China, provided the answer. If this theory holds, we are finally looking at a Denisovan. They had archaic features. A low, long skull, massive brow ridges, and no chin, similar to Neanderthals. However, they also had surprisingly modern flat faces, which set them apart. Genetic data also paints a picture of an individual with dark skin, dark eyes, and dark hair, built much like their Neanderthal cousins. The Denisovans eventually vanished, but their legacy is alive, inside us. They interbred with Homo sapiens multiple times. Modern Papuans and Melanesians carry 3 to 5% Denisovan DNA. We found their jawbone in a cave in Tibet, proving they adapted to high altitudes Therefore, when modern humans arrived, they interbred, receiving a gift, the EPAS1 gene. This is the superathlete gene that allows modern Tibetans to survive in the low oxygen air on the roof of the world. Their blood gave us the key to conquer the planet's most extreme environments. So, in the end, what was Denisova Cave? Was it just a shelter? or a critical crossroads where the human story was far more complex than we ever imagined. The conventional history of our own unique intelligence is being rewritten by the evidence found in that Siberian dirt. The Denisovans are gone, but their legacy is not. 
It is alive in the superathlete gene that allows millions to breathe on the roof of the world, and it's sealed in the polished stone of a bracelet that proves our definition of humanity was always too small.